Good morning, students from first grade. Today we have our English class. Um, we are on phase four, unit four, and here we have to correct this. The name of your 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 unit four. The name of unit four. It is. Respecting traditions. Yes, that is right. Respecting traditions. I can I can change it. Just a moment. We are going to try to do this. Oh, it's not gonna be possible to do this. Uh, the title we all know it is respecting traditions. Okay. Uh, class number four. Feedback listening brand to be. Proud to be, orgulloso de ser. Vamos a hacer la retroalimentación de, 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 del el audio que escuchamos la clase pasada. Uh, next, we are going to work on a word map about uh, food. Um, food vocabulary. Okay, page 146. And then we are going to, to know about international dishes. Uh, page 147. Here in, in we are going to, to see traditional international dishes. Vamos a conocer platos internacionales de comida and we are going to relate them to different countries. Okay? That is right. Uh, so, so here uh, we are going next to page 143 here listening proud to be okay this is the listening and we are going to check the correct answers vamos a chequear las respuestas correctas ya proud to be significa estar orgulloso cierto estamos viendo tradiciones y festividades eh, propias de un país eh, de una raza Proud to be, orgulloso de ser. Escuchamos eh, una conversation, ya, Organiz general information, información general, tipo, tipo de, de presentación eh, verbal. It was an interview, conversation or lecture, entrevista, conversación o exposición, como una charla. Era una conversation. Entonces ustedes marcan conversation. What does the speaker speak? The speaker, the speakers were A, teacher and students, B, friends, C, a father and sons. Un padre y sus hijos, amigos o profesor y estudiantes. If this was a right. Letter A, teacher and students. Okay. Then, tone, tone. El tono, ¿cómo era? A, formal, B, informal. It was informal. Okay, so we are checking uh, the listening from the last class. Now, specific details, speaker expressions. Uh, we have to tick uh, if the speaker said that or not. Eh, vamos a tiquear positivamente o negativamente si el, el hablante, quien, es, quien habló, ¿cierto? En, el, en la conversación, el profesor y los estudiantes mencionaron the expression and I'm glad. It is correct. It was mentioned. Hacemos un tic positivo. Letter B, I was curious. Positive. Ok. Ticket positivo. This, how terrible. This expression was not mentioned um, on the listening. So we make a cross, okay? This one, it was not mentioned, so we cross it. Okay. Uh, letter D. Our people are certain. Here you make a tick, positive tick, okay? Letter E, that's amazing. Positive tick, tick positive. Then, uh, it's really surprising. It was not used. 
across. Uh, letter G, I'm so happy. Uh, it was not used, this expression in the listening. So we write uh, across. Okay, here um, we need to uh, we need to uh, mark the tones and feelings uh, for them. For example, you have to write A for Ariki, M for Miyarai, or U for Yuriki. Who was uh, Bodom? Um, who was Bodom? Here it is Miyarai, okay? Millerai was boredom. Ella parecía aburrida. Eh, ok. Who was indifferent? Indifference. Shows indifference. This is Yuriki. Ok. It, was, it shows indifference. Eh, who was pride? ¿Quién demostró orgullo? A eh, for Ariki. The, the students who were talking. Ok. So, it shows the feeling of boredom, Miyarai, um, the feeling of indifference, yuru, yuru, Yuruki, and a feeling of pride, uh, it was for a Ariki. Okay, now we have to label, uh, we have to label um, the traditions mentioned. Here we have a mashi, a mashi. You can see a mashi in the south of our country. It is common to see them in the in the nice region. In la novena región es común ver machis, cierto, en los campos. Okay, here uh, this is a cult, a cult of the Pachamama. You see. That is very uh, tradition, traditional. Here it is a uh, shoulder, uh, shoulder, a part of the, the arm, el hombro, cierto, eh, de la parte del brazo. It is body painting, yeah? Tattoo, tatuaje, body painting or tattoo. Okay, uh, main conclusions, answer the, these questions. Uh, what does the name Ariki mean? It means king in the Rapa, in Rapa Nui language. Uh, Ariki means king, significa rey, como decía el, el, el audio, ¿cierto? In Rapa Nui language, el lenguaje Rapa Nui. What does the name Miyarai mean? ¿Qué significa el nombre Miyarai? It means golden flower in Mapuche language. Ya, yeah, flor dorada. In Mapuche language. Let us see what does the name of Yuruki means. Mean. Beloved son in Aymara. Amado hijo en Aymara. Ya. Yeah. So, uh, this is the feedback for, for the listening uh, from the last class. Okay. Okay, so uh, now we go to the class of today. Um, the class of today is uh, on page 146. So we go to one, 100, 146. Here we are. Here we are, and here we are going to write unit four, unidad cuatro. Of course, this is um, respecting traditions. That is the name of unit four. Today we are on class four also. Class 4. Estamos en la clase número 4, de la unidad 4, y también de la fase 4. ¿Ya? Ok. 
Um, the class objective of today is to recognize the importance of traditional meals as an element of national and international identity. Um, el objetivo es reconocer la importancia de comidas um, tradicionales como un elemento eh, de la identidad nacional e internacional. ¿Ya? Eh, bien, vamos a, a empezar eh, with a word map. Here it says a word map. Fill this word map. Vas a llenar este eh, word map, eh, mapa conceptual, ¿cierto? With at least three words per category. Eh, por lo menos tres palabras por categoría. Todas tienen que ver con food vocabulary, ya, vocabulario de comida. For example, here you have fruit vegetable. And here you, write, you can write, uh, for example, tomato. You can write fruit oranges. You can write a vegetable, um, lettuce. Um, you, you choose si quieres escribir frutas o vegetales, ¿ya? Yeah? In English, of course. So, you have to write in English, please. Complete the word map, but in English. Here, meat or fish. Carne o pescado. It was the example here, chicken. Okay? You can write Meat or fish, meat or fish. Uh, now we go on with the word map, con el mapa conceptual. Uh, here, uh, herbs, species. Uh, aquí nos hablan de especies, ya, o hierbas, aromáticas, ¿cierto? Para cocinar. They are very common. You have to use your dictionary and look for the words in English. Usar su diccionario o translator and look for the words. Buscar por la palabra en inglés y escribirlas, hierbas o especies, para aromatizar, ¿cierto? Darle sabor a las comidas. And here we have verbs. Verbs related to cooking. Eh, verbos relacionados con eh, la cocina, con el cocinar. There are many verbs. Hay muchos verbos. Cortar, picar, rebanar, eh, cocinar. Aquí aparece fry, freír, ¿cierto? Eh, so, this is an interesting word map and an easy one. Es un interesante y fácil mapa conceptual. Que tenemos que llenar con eh, tradiciones en comida. La tradición puede ser de baile, de fiesta religiosa, de las comidas propias de un país. ¿Ya? So, you have to do is it, complete the word map with the correct word, uh, and of course, you have to write this in English. ¿Ok? Um, then, uh, we go to here. This is exercise one, the word map. And next we have exercise two. On exercise two, on exercise two, we have the following. Ejercicio dos, answer these questions. Um, responder estas preguntas también en inglés, por favor. Las pueden responder aquí o en su cuaderno. You have to write here or in your copybook. Letter A. What is the name of one traditional Chilean dish? ¿Cuál es el nombre de un plato tradicional chileno? And you can write it here. Okay? Maybe you can change, can't change the name. And you will have to write in Spanish. Eh, tal vez aquí un plato tradicional chileno que no se nos ocurra eh, no tiene traducción al inglés, ¿ya? Eh, si no tiene traducción, lo puede escribir en español, ¿ya? Porque los nombres propios no los podemos traducir. So, what special dishes do you eat on holidays? 
Christmas, Independence Day, um, maybe your birthday. Letter B. ¿Qué eh, platos eh, especiales eh, tú comes en, 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 en épocas de especiales como Navidad, el Día de Independencia, que sería el 18 de septiembre? ¿Qué, qué, qué platos tradicionales eh, tú, se, se comen eh, aquí en Chile? ¿Ya? Letter C. In your opinion, what is the strangest food that is eaten in Chile? En tu opinión, ¿cuál es el, el, el alimento o el plato más extraño que se come acá en Chile? And you write it here. Y lo escribe acá. Letter D. Are there any differences between that people eat in the cities and in rural, rural areas? Which one? ¿Hay alguna diferencia entre lo que la gente come en las ciudades y en las áreas rurales? ¿Ya? ¿Es la misma comida? Think about it. Eh, contestar, ¿cierto? ¿Cuál será la diferencia entre la gente que... La, la forma de comer, ¿cierto? De los platos que comemos acá en la ciudad y lo que se coma en las, en las áreas rurales. En rural, rural areas. Ok. Now we go, we go to the next the next exercise and this is on page this is on page 147 the next page page okay here uh, you have to match the traditional dishes in the pictures unir eh, los platos tradicionales que aparecen acá en las fotografías, ya, yeah, there are many international dishes with the correct uh, country here in the map, ok? We are going to reduce it. No, we can see all them. Ok. It doesn't matter, I'm going to, I'm going to move it. So here we have the countries, Spain, the UK, the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom, Reino Unido, Italy, Japan, Brazil, Mexico, here, uh, Spain. Uh, and here we have the oceans, Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, um, Indic Ocean. Okay, so you have to write uh, on the map, you know, uh, the correct number, for, for example, uh, for each one of the dishes you can see. First, you have to recognize, for example, here, sushi. Sushi is a very delicious food, um, and obviously it is from Japan. So here we write the number one. Picture one belongs to Japan. Okay, here we have a uh, kind of tacos. Here we have uh, fried potatoes, papa fritas, with a piece of fritos, con trozos de pescado. Uh, here we have a ca paella, a paella, uh, and here we have a delicious pizza, you know. And here I think that these are of a kind of uh, black beans, porotos negros, black beans. So you have to look for the correct country and write the name of the picture here next to the name of the country, okay? So, um, remember to write your name, Grace, um, when you send your work. Por favor, eh, recordar escribir tu nombre, tu curso eh, y, por supuesto, el número de la clase, de class number, eh, cuando envíes tu trabajo. 
okay? Send the activity to the email Gonzalez arroba cmch dot maristas cl. Um, date of sending your activity on Monday, November 30th. El 30 de noviembre, día lunes, enviar tu actividad. Um, remember that these are the, the, the last days uh, we are um, facing the end of the year. Estamos eh, enfrentando, ¿cierto? Los últimos días de clases. Y eh, yo les pido eh, poner al día sus tareas, se han enviado a sus profesores tutores, eh, los tickets priorizados de todas, las, de todas las fases, ¿ya? De la fase, de la fase 4 ya se enviaron, son dos tickets los priorizados. Eh, de la fase 3 también son dos. Y de la fase 1 y 2, que son ahí un poquito más, me parece que son tres o cuatro. Entonces, eh, preocuparse de hacer los ticket, tickets priorizados. Eh, sus profesores tutores, yo se los he enviado prácticamente to a todos. Entonces, ellos los tienen en sus archivos de correo. Por si no, no los han recibido o por si se les ha pasado. Eh, revísenlo primero usted en su correo y, o se los piden a sus profesores eh, tutores. O a mí, también me pueden escribir, que me piden a través del correo, yo les envío los tickets priorizados. Eh, and that is all for today, and I hope to meet you the next week. I hope you are doing eh, very well. Goodbye, dear students.